Hello, my lovelies. My name is Lekka. Today we are going to be talking about how to set up bot ricks for streaming, including using bot ricks for your multi-streaming purposes for chatbots and alerts. So if you guys are excited for this video, go ahead and lick that like button and subscribe if you have not already, because not only does it taste delicious, but it also helps us tremendously with the algorithm and growing our channel if you enjoy these kinds of videos for stream advice in tips and how to's, but let's go ahead and get on into it. The very first thing you're going to want to do is go to botrix.live, which I will have a link in the description down below to the website. So you guys can go to it straight from this video and you will have four options to log in with you either with Trovo, Twitch, or YouTube. Now you might be saying, but Lekka, I am a kick streamer. Well, guess what? So am I, all you have to do is log in with your Twitch or your YouTube if you already have it. And for me, it's gonna redirect me automatically onto my platforms page. But because you guys have not signed in before, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Twitch credentials, you log in, and then you will be brought to this page. You will see if you look in the top left that it says the platform right now is Twitch. If that's your main platform, cool. If YouTube is your main platform, sign in with YouTube. You'll be connected with that. You'll be good to go. If your platform is kick on this platforms page, which you can get to with portfolios, if it does not automatically take you to this page, you just click profile on the left, it'll bring you here. You will go down to your kick. You will sign in with your kick credentials, connect it, and then you will hit settings. And now, boom, you can see that there is a check mark here for it. And now my platform in the top left is for kick. This is how you switch between your profiles if you are multi-streaming as well, so that you can set up your chatbot specifically for Twitch, how you want it to be, specifically for YouTube, how you want it to be, specifically for kick, how you want it to be, uh, which is really nice. So remember that the platform you are on in the top left is going to dictate which widgets and chatbots you are currently editing. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your alert, which is at the very, very top on the left-hand side. This will bring you to a page on your platform of your choice that will show you for kick, for example, like for mine, your subscriptions, your gift subs, your followers, raids, and tips, which are done through PayPal. So you can set up your PayPal with that. Uh, kicks do not exist yet. Kicks, if you are a kick streamer, is going to be the equivalent of Twitch's bits to the kick sites, uh, and that has not yet been implemented. So that will happen in the future. If this is active, uh, if you're finding this video in the future, then you can set this up as well. As you guys can see, there are a lot of different things you can do to customize this look. So you can change the style of it. You can uh, change whether you even want it to be a thing or not. You can change how you want the images of your GIFs and the text and everything to go, how long you want the alert to be, uh, the animation that you want it to have. You can upload image and a sound from your computer, or you can pick one from their gallery. There's TTS if you want to, there to be TTS for it as well. You can choose the colors of the text and the colors of the name that pops up. Uh, there's a lot of customizations. And after you're done going through all of these for all of your different kinds of shenanigans, you'll come down here and you'll hit save settings at the very bottom. And then you will hit copy on this widget URL code on the top. You will open up your streaming software. In this case, for example, OBS for me, and you will go over here, you will click the plus button on the bottom of your sources box, which is likely going to be at the bottom unless you've moved it somewhere else. And you will hit to browser capture. You will name this one alerts. I already have one. So we'll name this one, for example, tests. And then uh, from here, it'll have a default URL. You're going to want to remove that URL and paste the widget URL from Botrix instead into that and make sure that the width is 1920 and that the height is by 1080. That way your entire screen will be filled with the alert and you can choose how big or small you want it to be within that screen, but it will be in the spot that you want it to. So that is how you set up the alerts. The next thing you're going to want to do to set it up onto your OBS is to go and set up a widget by going to the widgets right below alerts on the left hand side and going to having a follower goal or a sub goal on your stream or both if you would like. Now, if you are just starting out and you are not yet affiliated, then it doesn't matter what platform you're on, you're not gonna be able to get subscribers. So you need to wait until you are affiliated with whatever platform you are streaming on in order to put a sub goal on your stream. However, a follower goal is something you can always have on your stream regardless of if you are affiliate, partnered, verified, whatever, right? So let's go ahead and walk through a follower goal. 
If you are putting a follower goal up, you can choose the kind of look you want it to have. You can like go through, you can choose normal, you can choose sharp, you can choose round, you can choose whatever. You can make it however you would like it to be, the color you want, how many you're trying to hit. If you are just starting out as a streamer and you're trying to get to affiliate status, for example, on Kick, then I recommend putting 75. It is a very easy goal to hit and to be able to get to 75 followers, especially when there is a big goal sitting there on your stream every single time you go live and you do calls to actions throughout your stream, reminding your viewers to follow if they're enjoying your content. It makes it a lot easier to have a visual representation of the goal you're trying to hit and to remind you to do those CTAs so you can hit your goal with your community a lot faster. And if you are at a point that you are able to do subscriptions, then you go to goal subscriber in the widgets tab instead and it's very similar to the follower setup. Customize it to be however you would like it to be and then you would copy the widget URL like we did with the alerts. You would open up a browser source again in your OBS paste it in there, make it 90, 20 by 1080, boom, you're done, you're good to go. And you can move it out around however you would like it to be to show up on your stream how you want it. The next thing you're going to need is a chat bot, which is right below widgets. So this is where you are going to have your ability to do commands and timers. Now, obviously you wanna take some time to set up your moderation as well. I very much recommend toggling the link protection. That way people can't spam links in your chat of their own channels for self-promotion, random sites or Reddit posts or whatever. Like only have links be allowed to be posted by moderators and only give moderator status to people who you truly trust. Now, the most important things for these are going to be the commands and the timers. The difference between commands and timers is that commands are things that people do in your chat that prompt something to be brought up as a result. So for example, if somebody were to do exclamation mark right here, TikTok in my chat, it would bring up Alexis TikTok right here and then the link to it. A timer is something that comes up in your chat periodically without the need for an input from a user. It just pops up on its own over time and you can choose the amount of time that you want it to be, 10 minutes, five minutes, six minutes, whatever and how many timers you want there to be as well. You guys can have as many commands as you would like, and you can have as many timers as you would like, but these are the commands and timers that I highly recommend and suggest that you guys have in your streams. The first command is going to be a sub command. If you have subscriptions enabled because you are an affiliate on the platform you are streaming on, you are going to want to have a command that people can do like exclamation mark sub that'll pop up that will then give them a direct link to where they can go to subscribe to your channel, maybe describe briefly the benefits that they get, and remind people that you are working towards a goal. If you see somebody do exclamation mark sub in chat and you have a sub goal on your screen, then that is a good time to redirect people to take a look at that and pay attention to it so that they too can help you towards your sub goal. The next command you're going to need is your schedule. It is so important to have a consistent streaming schedule if your goal is growth on any platform that you are streaming for. So what you're going to want to do is have a command for your schedule so that people know when they can get to you. Exclamation mark schedule and then post just very simply what days of the week and what times from and until you are live so that your community knows when to expect you. Additionally, you're going to want to have commands for every single one of your social media channels. You can have one for your Discord, you need to have one for your Instagram, you need to have one for your X, you need to have one for your YouTube channel, you need to have one if you are a multi-streamer for your other streaming sites like Twitch and Kick and things like that so that people can easily grab those links and follow you on your official channels. Now for timers, these are the absolute necessities that you are going to want to have. Of course, just like commands, you can add as many as you would like, but these are the bare basics you need. For timers, you need to have a follower reminder timer. Now that is going to make it so that people will be reminded that if they're enjoying your content, that they should follow your stream and you can also, again, use that timer pop-up as a reminder to do a call to action on your stream for people to follow as well. Additionally, you'll also want a timer for your schedule so that people can know when to expect you. And it'll give you a reminder, again, to do a CTA for having viewers come back to your streams because they can mark it down in their calendars of when to expect you and fit it into their own personal schedules so that they can always be there. 
Lastly, you're going to want timers for all of your socials, just like your commands for them. You want one for your YouTube, for your Discord, for your Instagram, for your X, your TikTok, for whatever social media channels you have that you want to promote. Additionally, within Botrix, there are default commands that exist that you cannot get rid of. You can disable them if you would like, but you cannot get rid of them. And two of those are the level over here, exclamation mark level and the exclamation mark XP. And those work together to work for a chat level up system that Botrix automatically integrates every time that you connect it to your channels and it keeps track of all of your chatters. It gives them experience for every chat message they send. They earn 10 experience points and after so many experience points, they level up and chat. I highly recommend that you guys leave this default system on in your chats because it is a good way to keep track of who your most active community members are and it gives you a reason to take on kick for example the vip badges and the og badges and lock them behind an active chat leveling system so for example say you can have a timer that you set up as a reminder for people to say hey if you guys want to earn a vip in my chat you have to hit level 10. If you hit level 20, you earn an OG badge that you can show off to everybody about how cool you are and how much of a head bitch in charge you are in chat, right? It gives people an encouragement and something to work towards as a reward just for being there and chatting with you. And we all know that having an active chat makes streams go by so much better and have the best experience. So the more people that are active in your chat and have a reason to be active, the better. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to set up two very specific commands that you're going to probably want to implement into your channels. That is shout outs and a hug command. Now the hug command, you can replace hugs for spanks, for licks, for punches, for kicks, for, you know, elbows to the sternum, whatever you want it to be, right? It's just some kind of command uh, that I will show you guys how to create that you can add your own flair to. Mine is just a hug one because in my community, we give each other hugs a lot. Now to set up that shout out command, you're going to want to do exclamation mark SO because you're not gonna want to write out shout out every single time you're giving somebody a shout out that you think is cool and that you're trying to encourage your viewers to go follow, right? So abbreviate it to SO here at the top. Additionally, this is going to be something that you guys want it to be like. So you're going to say shout out to the dopest fuck or however you want to reword this, right? And this is the important key. You need to do dollar sign parentheses variable parentheses and that will put in the username of the person that you have added or you know, if you want to have their link to their channel pop up you're going to put http www.kick.com forward slash and you're going to put the dollar sign parentheses variable parentheses right here at the very end and it will automatically populate that person you're shouting out channel onto it and of course you can change this to be twitch.tv or whatever but the variable with that is the very important part now, along that same one, you are going to do something kind of similar for the hug, but because the hug is one that a user is going to be doing, not you as the streamer, the special components for it are a little bit different. So you're going to do dollar sign parentheses, sender parentheses, and for example, it's gave a big ol' hug to and then I put parentheses or dollar sign parentheses variable parentheses. So what that does is when a chatter does exclamation mark hug at Lekka TV, that is then going to say, for example, user one give a big old hug to Lekka TV. So it puts in automatically both the chatter and the recipients names, which is really nice. And as you can see, you can change this to be for punches, for licks, for hits, for hugs, for whatever it is that you guys want it to be, right? You can get creative with it. <laughs> Lastly, if you guys want to do extra special things with bot bricks, then I do recommend getting the premium version for it. It's only $18 a year. I am not sponsored by them in any way. It is just a genuinely very affordable bot for your streaming and for multi-streaming especially because of the fact that you can have these things individualized per platform that you're on. So if it's something that you really like, I recommend getting the year because it's only 18 bucks USD. And additionally, you get cool things like being able to run a subathon, which is super cool to be able to run a subathon with multi-streaming and keep track of all of your subs and uh, monies earned and follows that you've gained and everything like that 
through all your different platforms. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. You can also get things like chat games in your chats if you want to give your viewers even more of an interactive experience for that. You unlock that with Premium, too. You can also change the name of your bot with Premium, which is not something that I care about, but if that's something that matters to you, there you go. There's another Premium perk. So it's worth considering if you guys try it and like it. Very affordable for a bot. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. If this answered your questions or if there was uh, something that I missed that you wanted me to answer for you, go ahead and comment in the uh, comment section down below and I will answer every single comment that I get on this video. If you have questions or you wanted to talk more about things, let me know. I am live on Kick four days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, yes, <laughs> and Saturdays, and I would love to see you guys there. I am there from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and we talk about streaming and platforms and all kinds of things there constantly, so feel free to pop in on any of those days, and we can chat together in real time. But without taking up any more else time, I will go ahead and let you beautiful people go. Bye, my lovelies.